Plus, Walmart stores authorizing a $15 billion share repurchase program as its stock performance trails other chains. The buyback replaces another $15 billion program that had about $3.4 billion of remaining authorization. Walmart's board didn't put an end date on the latest repurchase. Walmart shares right now up a third of a percent, trading at $51. Walmart remains uh, the biggest, one of the biggest bright spots in this down economy. The world's largest retailer is going on a high hiring binge, opening more stores, and offering more deals to attract thrifty shoppers. Bloomberg's Vera Gibbons is here with the details. Vera, uh, what's Hi Walmart there, up to? Well, you know, this big shareholder meeting is going on today, and the idea is to try to convince investors that they are going to be able to boost revenue when the recession actually ends. Well, how are they doing it? They're going on a hiring binge, as you pointed out, 22,000 jobs. But they're also doing, in the course of expanding, they're getting heavy into technology, trying to take uh, Circuit City's market share, trying to get those customers with cell phones, flat screen TVs, going very big on the home entertainment systems, all sorts of new brands from Iconics, including Danskin, OP. Also, Miley Cyrus, of course, just signed on with them. They're coming out, or she's coming out with a whole new line in conjunction with the BCBG designer to come out with cheap stuff, accessories, T-shirts, shorts, all of this stuff for under $20. So they have a lot uh, planned. They have their target audience picked <laughs> yeah, out, don't they? they? Sure but do. a, a lot of it at this dollar price, right? They're they, getting they, in on they, the dollar game. They're, they're making inroads, aren't Everybody they? Everybody knows that the dollar is a magic number. It's resonating well with consumers. Just look at the success of the discount stores. Family dollar, Dollar Tree, growing like gangbusters, while others are actually shutting their doors, closing, going out of business. Dollar General is the other big player in the discount space. This is a privately owned company that earlier in the week had reported a 13% increase in same-store sales during the first quarter. So... They want to get in on the action. We actually went and visited one of their dollar-only aisles. They've just started to roll these out nationally, where you can get everything and anything for under a dollar, but mostly food, of course, which is about 50% of their revenue is from groceries. So they did have everything from chocolate to tuna to macaroni and cheese to frozen dinners. Of course, comfort foods are all the rage right now, Mark. And, uh, you know, all the indicators, at least most of them, are showing that the recession is either slowing or bottoming out. Is Walmart late to the game here? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. We did speak to analysts about this very question. They said that Walmart should have probably gotten into the dollar game a little bit earlier, that the response now will be muted, but the unemployment rate is rising potentially to the double digits in the not-too-distant future. Home values are still going down. Gas prices are up. So people are still looking for those values, still looking for those discounts, and Walmart has them. And while you make the inroads, there has to be a new logo, There's right? a new logo, a kinder, gentler, softer logo. <laughs> Walmart's moving around from the hard corporate look and going for the more conversational look with softer, rounder letters. There you see it up there on your screen. Trying to have a warmer approach. Basically, the message is we're friendly, we care. Come in and spend your money here. Vera Gibbons joining us this morning. Vera, thanks. thanks.